<laughs> this mic, sorry. What was the difference uh, uh, on, on defense today between just kind of trying to slow them down a little bit? Like, the quarterback's tough when you throw in and run like you did. Yeah. Uh, just to like, I think the practice this week was like, just go out there and have fun. So like, we was practicing, we was having fun. And like, we just telling like everybody, especially like defense, we got a lot of young guys, just tell them to go out there and have fun. Yeah, it seemed like that was coach's game plan for this week all along. Just yeah. Have a loose atmosphere, a loose attitude. Did you guys carry that over to the game? I, I know obviously I think the result was a win, but did, did you feel like yeah, that's what you guys were doing today? Yeah, I think we definitely did, especially like, uh, uh, we made plays on uh, like in the beginning. We didn't like get too high. We like come on, we got more to do. And when they made plays offensively, we didn't put our heads down because we we out there having fun. Is it hard to make that adjustment when it, it's frustrating? I know when the losses are piling up and things like that. But is it hard to go into a week and say, okay, I, not that we don't care about the winner or the loss, but we want to really try to do something different here and be relaxed, be loose. Because you're getting so amped up during you know during practice screaming for a game. Yeah, I don't think it's really hard because we attack each week like. We're, we have a one game season every week, so we just focus on that opponent and do the best that we can and practice as hard as we can, try to have as much fun as we can, while at the same time being serious and being focused on the task at hand. You guys score first, get the safety, and the game's close at halftime. At, at halftime, what was the feeling like? You guys feel like, hey, you know, we're, we're right in this game. Yeah, we definitely felt we were in this game, and we felt we were in it right up till the end. Uh, nothing can stop us except ourselves. Uh, we made the mistakes down the stretch that cost us with penalties, drop balls, and things like that, and just things that we got to work on and continue to execute. Uh, Ryan is a little bit, uh, maybe out of sync is the wrong phrase, with a couple of overthrown passes and stuff. Is that just a timing thing, or is it just a little bit of pressure maybe on his part? It's a little bit of pressure. Um, I think that their defense did yeah. a good job at taking away what we thought we were going to have. We thought we had a chance to beat them deep, and their D-backs played a solid game. And, couldn't get behind them all the time, and converting our routes was wasn't always the right between the receiver and the quarterback. So just things we got to work on. This was a communication and things like that. Michael, what was, um, what was Coach's post game like today? Because I think he was hoping that the strategy of you know being loose would, would, would go into effect, and he hopes that would serve you guys down the road. What did you guys talk about after the game that this is going to hopefully be the way it's going to go from here on out? Yeah, definitely. I think he like he carried over to like uh, like the having fun mentality. Like he just said, like we got to come out next week. We got Dickinson. I'm like fortunately for us, they're not as good as the uh, F and M. So we got a real good chance for these next three games. That was the main focus. Coach, your um, I think your strategy was to let them be loose and let them have fun um, as much as they could, as much as you could. Did you do you think it was a, a job well done? Yeah, I can see you smiling. I can see you moving on the side. Yeah, they, they played really well today. Our kids did. Um, yeah, I told them at the end we, we we turned the corner in a lot of respects today. Okay, no doubt about it. Um, you know that F and M is one of the better teams in the conference. Right. You know. Um, and they, you know, they just wore us down as the game went on. Right. They're bigger, stronger, faster right now. You can't do a whole lot about that, but I just kept telling our coaches, keep putting our guys in position to make plays, keep coaching them up, uh, let them play football. And, and they did, you know, our guys responded really well to that. Um, we did some, some, some young guys made some big time plays today, on uh, both sides of the, all three phases really, um, special teams as well, so excited. Turn a corner as 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 well as opposed. To, I mean, um, and, and as going forward and the next couple of weeks, I know those are games that you're looking at to you know make a statement or get, get some things moving here. And a game like this, yeah, it wasn't a win, but it can serve as a, a tipping point, a starting point, springboard yeah, yeah, for no the doubt. next month and for all. Yeah, no doubt. I told them, you know, when we held up there at the end. I said, if you guys play that way over the next three weeks, I think there's some some good things on the horizon for. And it didn't seem like you were just holding on to them. I mean, there was goal line stands, there was a safety, there was, you know, those big plays. Yeah. The mm-hmm. game was probably closer than 28 to 9. Yeah, no doubt. Outside of a couple of plays here, like I said, at the end, you know, they just kind of overpowered us a little bit. Uh, it's more a personnel thing than anything else. I think that, that was good. I'm proud of our guys. They, they really did a great job. It, it, it could probably be a difficult thing to get a, a, group, a group of guys who are frustrated that they're not winning games mm-hmm. to immediately just kind of. Not, not that they don't care, but just to not, not let it bother them so much and let them play, be loose, have fun. Are you more pleased at that aspect? And you know they go out there and play football if you have to, but the fact that they were able to do what you guys asked them to do. Yeah. It shows a lot of um, maturity on yeah. their part, um, mentally and emotionally. 
because they want to, they, you know, it's, it's hard because as a college football player, they want to win, sure. you know, and I think a lot of, they've been putting so much pressure on themselves because they've been working so hard uh, and they haven't been seeing results. And yesterday, I, you know, at the end of practice, I said, you know, I, I told them, I said, take 30 seconds, and I said, I want you to think about why you play football and what you love about playing football in the game. And then they just kind of started talking a little bit, and I think that shifted their focus. You know, instead of focusing on the wins and losses every week, focus on the fact that I just love playing college football. And, uh, I think that should. Yeah. I was going to say you saw you saw that you saw that a lot of the guys today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.